I wanted a park where kids could play without ducking bullets and stepping on needles. And that's what was here. It just wasn't a, a place that you wanted kids to be. I wanted to clean it up, and that's what I uh, did. I think that one of the greatest things about this garden is it's like a melting pot and everybody is here. And I've learned so much from my neighbors here and uh, I think they've learned uh, some things from me. And this is a picture of patrolling the uh, park. This is where, when the drugs was going rampant on Eldridge Street, I, I went to them and I told them that the park is for kids, please. Just give me the park and what you do out there, I promise I will not tell the cops on you. But if you come in the park, you're going to have to kill me. And they start laughing. I mean, these guys, they would have, they could have killed me. And I was just crazy enough to go along with it. So was there anything here at all? Or nothing. Nothing? It was empty. So it was just empty lot? Empty and grass and bottles and things that they'd thrown over. Oh my goodness. I guess it was... I wanted some kind of plants in here. I didn't care what it was. And the Citizens was very instrumental in helping me at that time. They start giving me grants and I start getting flowers for the garden and I start having people to come in and help plant them. I learned through citizens how to combat and fight drugs and uh, organize. I had the kids to help me and we put plants not only in this garden but in the beds of the park itself. And many of those kids are grown now and their kids are coming in here planting with me. And some of my new friends, they said, how many kids do you have because everybody calls you dad? I said, <laughs> they're all my kids. White, black, Chinese, whatever they are. I love them all. Okay, we're gonna put some bulbs in over here. It looks pretty good though. <laughs> For people that have small apartments, it means everything. This is their living room. This is my living room. This is my second home here. I spend more hours here than I do in my own apartment. It's a garden for everyone. It's nature and it's love.